I grew up in Athens, Georgia. I grew up with two older brothers and they were big into ball, so they kind of threw the ball around with me and that's how I started to play a little bit. Started playing softball uh, with my dad, he was a big influence on it. Um, got in the yard with me every day, kind of started throwing a ball. I really didn't start playing softball, I played another sport. This was just something that he thought I would be good at and I just kind of went with it and stuck to it ever since. How did you get recruited to come play here at SBC? I was actually signed and committed to play at a D2 school in Georgia. Um, some things got twisted around and Coach Bree found my name, so she gave me the opportunity to come down here and play. How often does your family make it out to the games? Not very often. Uh, my dad's probably only come up here maybe one time to see me play. Uh, it's just something that I had to adjust to, being nine hours away from home, so they don't really come up here. But I do get to talk to them, and they do support me, and I try to make them proud. What are your uh, individual goals and your team goals for this season? To have more confidence in myself. Uh, probably just do what I'm supposed to do and get the job done and be there for my teammates. Um, I always try to get them to smile even when they're frustrated. But as a team, I would say just have fun and trust each other in the game. I mean, a big important is defense and offense. And for us to do that, we all have to like come together and just be a team. What is your bond with your teammates like? <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> My teammates are a mess. Um, we're all different, but we all get along. Uh, we pick each other up when we're down, and if we need each other, we're always there. We're just a crazy bunch, I guess. What advice would you give to a young softball player who wants to play at the college level? It's a job. It really is. They really need to focus, and if this is something they really want to do, they need to work hard at it. But, I mean, the main thing is just to have fun with it. What do you think is the most difficult part of balancing your social life, softball, and your academics? Not getting distracted. Um, I know you have a lot on your plate, and I think it's just best if you try to find an in-between with everything. Um, that's why it's great to have your teammates, because they help you through anything. They're always there for you when you're homesick or you need help with your homework. It's just something that you're going to have to grow up and learn, I guess. And you being a sophomore, what's something that you've tried to teach the incoming freshmen? I always have confidence. Uh, I see in a lot of them, um, they strike out or they miss a grounder or something. They always like drop down, they drop their shoulders. You try to boost them up a little bit and say it's okay, there's another chance or you're doing fine. It's just something as a sophomore you did the same so you just got to say it's okay, shake it off, you'll be fine. What are you studying right now? I'm studying early childhood education. Um, I'm hoping to work in either a primary and elementary school. And what do you plan on doing after SBC? I'm looking to continue my softball career. Uh, I have a lot of schools interested and I'm very interested in some other schools but I have not made a decision yet so. Any uh, that are at the top? <laughs> um, Young Harris College, a uh, school in Maryland, um, Coastal Georgia. Uh, I'm looking forward to try to go back home soon. What's it like playing under Coach Bree? She's a great coach. She comes out here and she knows what she's going to do and if we need help or need to work on anything, she's always there. She's always correcting us. Um, she's a very straightforward person, so she's willing to work with you and make you better. What is the best thing that Coach Bree has said to motivate you? About a few weeks ago, we played um, Manatee, and the score was five to five. Two outs. We really needed to get some runs in. Um, Coach Bree came up to me, and she put her hand on my shoulder and said, I have all the confidence in the world in you. Stepped in the box, took a pitch. Next pitch came up, hit my first college grand slam. Just for her to tell me that she has confidence in me means the world to me. She's an awesome coach. Just for her to be like, I got you, I'll pick you up, here you go, I have faith in you, that's all you ever need.